Hello everyone and welcome to another TDR family gaming video. This is Droid TDR and today we are looking at a new game on Roblox. It is called World Zero and as you can see it's taken off pretty well. It is still in beta so it does actually cost I think 25 Robux to play but let's take a look at this and see how it's going so far. It doesn't support VIP servers. It uh, does have some limitations, but it's pretty cool. Let's check it out. All right, so when you start in World Zero, you have the ability to create a character, and you can see I've already got a level 20 elementalist, but I want to show you the other ones that you can create. You can do a sword master, a mage, or a defender. The elementalist is a mage, but I'm going to create a new character, a defender. And just because it's something that I think is a lot of fun when I play uh, games where you can make your own character, is I'm basically going to try and create like the strangest cheerleader that might wield an axe. Okay, so you can see you can change different animations on the character, you can change their hairstyle, we're going to go play with their eyes a little bit. You know, should we have the big eyes? Should we have the... Uh, dreamy eyes should we have the closed eyes what are we going to do for our eyes so you get to pick an eye that you like and then of course you can choose the color of eye that you like i don't think i changed green green eyes is fine with me um, but you can change colors you then get to change your face your mouth you know and your eyebrows so do we want a smiley one or a pouting person or just kind of a closed mouth hanging out swinging an axe so I figured I didn't want the super big eyebrows and I didn't want the sad looking or confused looking person so I'm gonna have an angry angry cheerleader here uh, who's gonna have pink hair of course why not pink hair green eyes and we're gonna I don't know maybe make it crazy here nah I think it's more cheerleader like so we've got our cheerleader created you can play with the size I already made as small a person as possible flaming pink hair you see my elementalist popped up there for a second and when you get into the first lobby I'm gonna start off on the uh, different menus on the right hand side so in the settings you can turn the music volume off you can turn your health bar on and off you can set your performance stats up on the left if you want them uh, you can hide chat if you want you can let people join your party or not join your party and you can click return to main menu which I didn't mean to do because it starts you back over at the very beginning where you can create your character Oops. Anyways, so now let's go look at the rest of the menu. So you can see there's lots of different menus. There's, first of all, the crystal shop. This is where you can spend real money, buy some Robux to get these auras or crystals, and you can buy little fancy things to decorate your character, like, you know, rabbit ears or whatever. I'm not going to do that. There's plenty of other stuff in this game. We don't have to go that deep into it. So let's go look at the next menu, the classes. Now this just shows for Defender. Right now I'm Defender. And over on the right you can see there's things like Dodge, Groundbreaker, Sheath, all those types of things. You can see that the Defender can evolve into a Guardian. Oh, but wait, someone was asking to trade with me. So I said, oh, let's see. Oh, you're going to give me a sword. That's great. I just showed up in the game. I'm happy to do it. But they decided to cancel the trade. Anyways, Defender evolves into Guardian when you get to level 15. And level 15 evolves into Berserker when you're level 30. Right now, all I can do is Defender. And it comes with five different moves. You can see I've got the Spin. I've got Slash. Those are two special attacks. Then there's Sheath. There's Groundbreaker and there is dodge. So those are the five different moves I can do. You can see along the bottom, if I hit Q, that puts my ax away. I've sheathed it. And then I press Q again and I can take it out. So let's go look, I think the next one is C, which is backwards dodge, right? So it's basically a jump backwards. So you can back off from a boss or an enemy. The next one is the clicking of the mouse, which is simply just straightforward swing the ax attack. The next one is E, I believe this is the Groundbreaker, which it does a little bit of an area of effect. And then that's the spin, right? The spin. I like that one a lot. I like the sound of that smashing one. And you can see the cooldown timer is charging back up so that it can do it again. And I really loved playing with these effects. This is the first time I've seen the Defender. So I messed around with that a little bit. So let's go on to the next menu. This is where you can look at players. You can 
invite them to join your party or trade with them. And if you had friends playing at the same time, you could click that little friends button and it would pop up and you could teleport to them in whatever world they're in. Now let's look at the inventory. So right now I just started the game. All I've got is an ax and some armor. But look at that, there are nine different things you can equip, including things like pets, hats, double wielding axes, it's gonna be crazy. But now let's go up to missions, the last piece of the navigation. And the first and only thing I can do so far is a level one. So I was gonna join a party and I could join a party and you see over on the left, there's four other people in that party. But I think actually, I'm gonna probably do my own run. What I like about when you join a party or you start um, a, d a dungeon run is it shows you up in that pink bar like how much experience you're going to get, about what level will you end up with if you complete this dungeon. And it shows you your health in the green bar and then there's an ultimate attack if you're after level 20. Now one of the things I really love about the missions is before you start your mission you get to see everything that you might get for loot at the end of the mission. And it shows you even, is this a tier one, a tier two, tier three, tier four, by looking at the stars and the color. So tier two is green, tier three is blue, tier four is purple, tier one is gray. So you already have an idea of what you're gonna get uh, and the chances of getting it before you even start the dungeon. So I'm gonna leave the group I was just in and start my own mission. And here we go. Moving to World 1, The Beach. And as you probably noticed already, this is kind of like if you put Zelda and Final Fantasy and World of Warcraft in a blender and then ported it over to Roblox, that's kind of what we got here. We've got a little quest going on here saying, help, help me, these crabs are attacking me. And so here you come up and you say, oh, let's try my attacks. There's my spin. And let's try the ground, boom, and crab is done. So let's see if we can go get maybe a couple of these guys together and see if we can use our spin attack to do multiple damage at the same time. One, two, three, yeah, got it on some of them. Not super effective positioning there, but I did get two, two of them with the ground slam there and then finally, boom, third time is the charm. Let's go try and group up another group of crabs here. Get all three of these earth crabs together and see if I can do multiple damage with the swirl. Yes, I got them all. Awesome. So, that seems to be a pretty good um, strategy with this character. Is very close damage and doing groups of damage at the same time, very effective. So now let's continue our quest. We saved them. Now they say the crabs took my cabbages. We have to help. You have to help me get them back. Okay, so let's go get some cabbages, man. Let's go save your crops. All right, so we got some more earth crabs to deal with here. Try and group them up a little bit. And swirl, swirl, swirl. Nice. Jump out of the way, do a little quick backwards dodge and then boom that was about as good as it gets i think so pick up the gold and then run off to the next group and there's there's the person we're trying to help and the pile of cabbages that have been taken hostage all right got the crabs ready set swirl and shabuya got them all again i think we can now rescue the cabbages <laughs> Collect the cabbages. Let's go get them. Boom. There they are. Hey, let's go get the rest. Oh, I didn't know you had more cabbages. What are you going to do with all these cabbages anyways? It's a heck of a lot of cabbages. And what are crabs doing with bars of gold and coins? I don't get it. But whatever. It's a game. So let's go get these two cans and this crab and see if we can get them all taken down together. No, it's harder to group them up. These guys are big and they do get in each other's way uh, and kind of block each other from the spinning blade. So it's a little bit tricky to get them all into one group, but we'll try it again. We'll try it again next time we see them. And let's go rescue this second group of pet cabbages. Boom, done. And just like every group of cabbages that you pick up, a tree falls down. So let's go across the tree 
and run with this person, not really sure why they're running towards this group. We already got all their cabbages, didn't we? Didn't we? So, let's get this group all pulled together, try our swirl, try our smash, and look at that, we actually got them all. They didn't get in, in the way of each other. So, we finally get down to the last coin, and we get to run down, and I think we missed what the guy was saying. All right, well, he's probably saying, hey, why don't you run up ahead? I think there's a boss up there. We'll say, hmm, okay, why not? That's what we're here for. So let's see what boss this is. Oh, he's shooting stuff at us. Exploding watermelons? No, exploding cabbages, because this guy, he's the crabbage. <laughs> that must be what they were stealing the cabbages for, is to feed to the the King Crabbage. So we're gonna use our great attacks, our swirl, our ground slam, and then run away from the exploding cabbages. Because if you light on fire, that's gonna take your health down pretty far. Luckily though, his pinches don't do too much damage. You can see that down at the bottom on my green health bar. He is pinching me every now and then when I'm close, but it's not doing that much damage. And you heal after a while in this game so if you don't take damage for a while you start healing back up and you can see my green bar just went up a little bit there but i'm going to run away as best i can from the exploding cabbages because those don't look pretty and i think they might even set you on fire which does sustain damage over time so let's go smack this cabbage he's almost done he's down to the last health bar let's get him one more time boom Let's try our two attacks. They're recharging. Hurry up, cool down, hurry up. There we go, there's one. And here's the second. Shaboom! Smack, smack, and back up, and boom. Now, why these crabs are carrying all this gold, I don't know. I'm just glad to have it. So, let's go back after we pick our reward. So you get to pick a chest and then open it up. And you can already see there's something gray inside. And gray we know is a tier one, very low level thing, but it's armor and it's probably better than what I've got. So that's not too bad. It's, it's better than the starting armor, probably. Moving back to the hub, let's go talk about pets a little bit. Because one of the reasons you have to run around and pick gold is because you don't have a pet. Usually your pet will go and fetch the gold for you, but I don't have one yet. So I need to buy one and you can see over in the far right it takes 2,000 gold coins and I only have 582. What the heck? But all these pets, there's so many different pets, you can see that the chances that you'll get a legendary pet, a gold one, or a purple one, or a blue one, or a gray one, They've all listed their 8% drop of this, 4% drop of this, 0.8% that you'll get this pet when you hatch your egg. So very excited to get an egg, but I can't do it yet. Now, as far as I can tell, I haven't seen any extra benefit from which tier you get other than it may affect what spells or skills that you give them. You can see they have two skill slots so you can teach your pet some skills to heal, to bite, to poison, things like that. And you can cast those uh, effects just like you use your swirl or you use your ground slam. Now let's see if I sell the armor I just got, is that gonna give me enough for a pet? No. Um, so let's see what else is here. Let's go to the aura chest. This is where you can use basically buying Robux or using Robux to get the special effects, get the uh, cosmetics for your character. So this is where you do it, the aura chest. Not doing it here. I like my cheerleader with her pink hair, just as she is. Now, the upgrade area, this is where you can take your uh, armor, your gear, etc., and upgrade it. And you see you have a 90% chance of getting it upgraded. Oops. And it didn't upgrade. Let me try that again. 90% chance, okay, I did upgrade it. Whew, I have a plus one. But now I'm gonna try and go from plus one to plus two, and what? Failed tw twice? Two out of three times I failed my upgrade. That's insane. 
Okay, well let's go run the Krabby Crusade one more time, and we'll do it on super fast speed. You can see I'm gonna almost get halfway to level four by the time I'm done with this. Uh, if you looked at the pink bar before I hit start. So we're gonna skip through a lot of this and do it super fast, and I'm gonna try grouping them up as best I can, except for that first guy. Just get rid of him, the guy that was threatening my dear old cabbage pal. Let's get them all close together, do our spin, and then do kaboom, and wow. That's what we're looking for. And quick, pick up the gold. Got it all. Let's go get that second set of cabbages. Or maybe this is the first set of cabbages. I don't know. Grouping them all up. See, can I get them all grouped together? I think I got them all together. Here, let's go. Swirl. Boom, boom, boom. And round slam. Boom. Got them all. Oh, no I didn't. Some of them were behind the trees. Sorry about that, dude. But you're going down. All right. Now they're all gone. Now we can pick up the loot. Now we can go get the cabbages, rescue them, and bring them over the bridge to the next group. The toucans have taken the cabbages hostage. Boom, boom, boom. And round slam. And that was pretty effective. I think that plus one on my axe is really helping out. There's that last toucan. Grab the gold, save the cabbage, run off, cross the fallen tree, finish this group off before the final boss, and zip, 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 and kaboom, and oh no, how did he survive that long? Uh, I must have been blocked by one of the toucans. Okay, grab the gold, boom, 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 and wait. I'll wait over here. Okay, you wait there. I'll go get this crabbage guy. We'll do a super fast on his exploding watermelon cabbages. And then, ready, boom, bam. <laughs> I love the sounds at super fast speed. Boom. Flippity flip flip. Boom. Funny. Go, crabbage, go, droid, go, crabbage. Oh, I did use some of the backwards jodges. I don't know if you noticed that. I did use it a couple of times already. Oop, use it right there too. I'm just not really even caring if he hits me. I just want to avoid the exploding cabbages. And yes, he is gone. Mission cleared. You can see I'm halfway up to level four. Pick a chest. What do we got? Oh, it's a green one this time. And ruby staff. That's not going to help me at all. I need axes. My character is an axe only gal. And now we go back to the hub and we figure out, okay, we're gonna sell some stuff. I think now by selling that and let's let's maybe also just sell that armor so that we can get ourselves a pet. Let's go grab ourselves an egg, get ready for our pet. I'm hoping it's one of those legendaries, but who knows? All we gotta do is go buy one, boom. Now we have a star egg. And once you get your star egg, you need to equip it in your inventory. Equip the pet, boom, there he is. One of the nine things you can equip. We've got our armor, we've got our ax, we've got our egg, and now we have to hatch the egg. And the only way to hatch the egg is to get enough experience while you are dragging the egg behind you. So, next video, We'll show you what it looks like to hatch the egg. But for now, let's see if we can, you know, upgrade the gear we got. We got 85% chance. Did we do it? Yes, we did. Okay, great. The axe is maxed out. Let's see if we can get our armor up. Oh no, we don't have enough gold. Maybe next time. So this is World 1, the starting area. And this is Droid TDR, part of TDR Family Gaming. This is a pretty cool game. It's one of the cheaper games to buy on Roblox, and it is super fun. Grouping up with parties of five, you can go in and do these different missions. They've got wave defense, they've got boss battles, they've got a little bit of a story here and there. It's super awesome. Hope you check it out. We are going to be streaming this on and off, uh, alternating with Dungeon Quest and some other fun games. So if you see us in the lobby and we're playing this one, feel free to come in and join us if you're at the same level. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.